Uh, hi everybody, it's Big Red again. It is Bowls Battle Report time and we have something very special for you this evening. We have me, Big Red, versus Crusher Joe. Say hi, Crusher Joe. Hi, Crusher Joe. You may have read Crusher Joe on Crusher Joe's blog. If you haven't, just go look over on the lower right on Bowls. It's, it's in the blog roll. It's there. Um, and today, we are playing my Tau, Mark V of my Tau army. You can see it right there. Big Red 05, the fifth iteration of my slowly evolving Tau army, versus the leaf blower. And this isn't just any leaf blower, this is actually the leaf blower that won uh, Gladiator at Adepticon the year before last. And if you go back a few, uh, a couple years in the uh, in our YouTube feed, you'll see it. That is the actual army that is now, it is now no longer uh, Darkwind's property, it is Crusher Joe's. It has found a new home. And uh, so, yeah, this is going to be lovely. So uh, we're doing a uh, capture and control uh, pitch battle. So um, J uh, Joe won the uh, he won the roll and there he is with uh, and Joe will just go over really really quickly what the army is. It's a leaf blower. Everyone knows what it is. So we got the two Medusas right there. Two Medusas, two Hydras, Manticore, heavy wave steam in a Chimera. There we go. In front row, the Melt Vets in a Chimera. All right. Uh, uh, platoon Commander in a Chimera. Uh, <clears throat> Psycho Battle Squad in a Chimera. Yep. Melt Vets in a Chimera and uh, Company Command Squad in a Chimera. See, and you'll see they're in this nice little parking lot right there. So it's yes, they nice are. and easy it's for me to see them. And then in reserve we got looks like there's two Valkyries over there. Two vendettas. Two vendettas with uh, regular old troops inside of them. All right, with troops inside of them. Mark five of my army is. We'll go through this. First of all, we have a. Uh, I have a Shasso over here with a bodyguard. He has a. Uh, uh, he has the positional relay. He's got a uh, missile pod and plasma. Um, there he is. There's another squad just like it. Well, almost uh, just like it. the second one is a Shasel who is. Uh, uh, who has a uh, the plus one uh, ballista skill um, uh, upgrade? So he's a uh, he's also BS five, but he's not quite as good in close combat. Uh, so there's two of those squads. I have two hammerheads with uh, all the bells and whistles, black sun filters, uh, multi trackers, target locks, disruption pods. Uh, they're running twin burst cannons and the rail guns uh, up on the top floor. Uh, three broadsides with a shield drone. Uh, they can all split fire. Uh, so what's going on there. And then we have two six-man units of Pathfinders. Six with a Devilfish. Six with a Devilfish. Hiding behind it. That's all that actually deployed. And um, down here in the secret compartment under the table are my reserves. We got a uh, three-man unit right here of uh, twin-linked Flamer and uh, Melta Crisis Suits with a shield drone. Uh, we have uh, three Crisis Suits with uh, missile pods and plasma over there. We got two six-man units of fire warriors reserving. We have a 20-man unit of Kroot. They're going to be out flanking. And then we have a pair of Piranha. They will, uh, with fusion blasters, they will be reserving as well. And the big thing that happened uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, you see that six right there? I seized. So, we'll see what happens at the uh, top of one. <laughs> Alright, we're at the top of one, and there are some gaps in the big vehicle parking lot. What happened here is we started off in the shooting phase with uh, both units of Pathfinders lit up the... Um, uh, 
the Manticore and the um, uh, and the Medusa batteries, uh, using them to increase the ballistic skill and drop the cover saves, uh, drop their their cover saves, and they were struck by uh, the broadsides and the two hammerheads over there, and uh, uh, they were also in squadrons, so they were susceptible to uh, to the uh, the immobilized deaths. And when all the dust settled, uh, the uh, both of the Medusas, uh, one Hydra and the Manticore were lost. There's also a Chimera in the front that is mobilized, weapon destroyed, and uh, there is a, and that Chimera right there is mobilized. So that is an excellent round of tail shooting for the top of one, and we'll catch you guys at the bottom of one. All right, we're at the bottom of one, and uh, the Leaf Blower is moving out. You can see there, uh, uh, all of the, uh, the Chimeras with guys in them are rushing forward 12 inches. They're popping smoke. Uh, the rest of the, uh, the guys are getting out, moving towards other towards other uh, vehicles, and um, uh, there was a little bit of fire towards the Tau army, and it was uh, all non-effectual, no casualties, so we're moving into the top of two. All right, guys, we're at the top of two. The uh, movement-wise, uh, uh, the uh, hammerhead moved out over here to get a uh, side shot on those two chimeras that were uh, advancing. The uh, devilfish are kind of moving out a little bit as well um, to help with future deep strikers. Uh, the big thing that, that happened was the, uh, the crisis suit squad with the uh, Meltas and Flamers uh, attempted a daring deep strike, uh, deviated, had a mishap, and got placed way over there. So they're kind of out of it. We'll see if they have any part in the battle. Uh, shooting wise, pretty good. Both of the Chimeras that were moving up with troops are uh, were both uh, uh, struck and exploded. Uh, one of the squads that got got out of it uh, is uh, uh, broke and they ran and they've been shot to under half strength. And the other squad is still above half strength and they are pinned and uh, on, the, uh, on the center objective. And that's what it looks like moving into bottom of two. All right, it's the bottom of two, and the Imperial Guard are starting to come back into it. Uh, both of the Vendettas did not reserve in, um, with some uh, some uh, uh, with some uh, nice use of ordering. The senior and junior officer here uh, got this unit, got both of the units of uh, troops that were pinned or uh, and or running back under control. Um, they moved up right there, and the three of them that were behind there reformed and are and are hiding in that area of ruins. And other than that. Uh, uh, the Imperial Guard actually got some decent shooting. Over here there was a unit of Pathfinders who got uh, broken and then weakened resolved and they broke, ran two whole inches. So they're right there, dangerously close to that board edge. They're gonna, they're pretty much out of it. And this squad over here took two casualties and made their leadership check. And that's where we are, moving into the top of three. All right, we're at the top of three and uh, we decided to not use the positional relay this turn and just bring in everything. And uh, even with an officer of the fleet, everything showed up except the 20 crew. So two units of fire warriors reserved on. They got into those two devilfish. So those are now full of scoring units. Um, uh, we had a unit of crisis suits that could draw a line of sight on the Pathfinder vehicle. So they landed uh, precisely way over here. And then we had uh, the piranhas that uh, moved 24 up to midfield way on the edge over here doing an end run. Uh, shooting phase, everything else kind of moved up. And um, uh, with all, all the combined firepower of these guys on the side, killed that last scoring unit that was running, the unit that was up here on the hill was eliminated, um, this vehicle here was immobilized, the Chimera in the center was destroyed, and the, um, along with the Hydra next to it, which exploded with a huge six inch radius explosion, and those two things combined with a, with a whole lot of burst cannon fire and, uh, and uh, hammerhead sub, uh, sub, sub munition rounds uh, knocked the command squad down to one plasma gunner who's there, and the uh, and the psychers are down to three guys, and that is, is it, oh, are down to five. There's two more guys down there, so half of that squad is dead, and that's where we are moving into the bottom of three. All right, we're at the bottom of four. As you can see, all the Leaf Blowers reserves are now in. Both Vendettas have arrived. They both swooped in uh, behind both of the Hammerheads. This one um, uh, got a weapon destroyed. Uh, other than that, it's okay. And this one uh, had a, was just in just uh, outside of range, uh, uh, where uh, so that he got to use his dis disruption pod, and he was going to be destroyed, but the disruption pod saved him. And other than that, uh, we had a. Um, 
Over here we had multi-laser fire and uh, the psychers both combined fire on the crisis suits over there and killed one of them. And that's where we are at the bottom of four, headed into five. All right, we're at the top of five. The crew have arrived. They can't, they outflanked on this side. Not much for them to do. Over here, uh, all the tower moving up, making a rush at that uh, Imperial Guard objective. We have the uh, the Piranha went right up on it. Uh, this vehicle took a huge amount of fire and was finally destroyed, and the command squad got out of it. That is the only infantry squad um, left. That's a commander with a whole bunch of flamers over there. Um, that vehicle's wrecked. That one is wrecked. That's the only vehicle. That far one is the only one that's left alive. It is immobilized and weapon destroyed. The five psychers are still left over there. These crisis suits are are over here. We have the uh, the what the turretless hammerhead. The other hammerhead is moving up. Crisis suits are moving up. This the uh, broadside split fire and shook that vendetta. Destroyed this one. That squad got out and was pinned. And over here, the two devilfish that were full of fire warriors have finally moved out of cover on turn five, and they are both on that objective. So that's where we are. And the uh, the totally out of position crisis warriors slowly are continuing to move up as fast as they can. They're starting to reach the guard lines now. That's where we are at the top of five, moving into uh, guard five. All right, boy, boys and girls, we're at the bottom of five, and it could be it. The uh, remaining Vendetta moved up uh, to midfield. It's, make, it's making its way over here if the game con uh, uh, continues over here. The command squad that was blown out of its uh, of the last chi Chimera with the four Flamers moved up. They did everything they could to try to harm those uh, Piranhas. Got a few side shots. Couldn't make any, any glances come through. And the, uh, and the Psychers tried uh, as well. No effect. And that is where we are. So right now, objective-wise, that one is contested. Uh, and this one is under Tau control, so it is one to zero. And Crusher, let's roll the dice. Let's here, roll them. Here we go. I'm gonna do my fleet. That is a six. We are moving on to no, no. turn six. Top of six, and the leaf blower just will not die. Okay, so everything over in that corner uh, is is destroyed. We have. Uh, this squadron is now unpinned, and over here, this vendetta took four railgun shots. It is, it is, uh, and uh, it's it, missing one gun. That's it lost a gun. That is, that is all. Other than that, it is intact. Uh, everything else is. Uh, that vehicle was destroyed. That vehicle is destroyed. And all the remnant squads over there are destroyed. So we have where we are now is Cooter running up. That objective is totally contested. Uh, this one is still under tau control. Control, and this vendetta is just still, still cruising, and we'll see what uh, what the leaf lore can turn can can uh, pull out of its uh, out of its out of its pockets in the uh, bottom of six. All right, bottom of six. It's hail mary time. Uh, the only thing that the uh, guard had left to do is that one vendetta moved over. It is within three inches of this objective. So if the game ends, it will be contested. Contested with this being the only thing left on the board. That is alive with the scoring unit in it that just won't die. And here we go. Oh, that's true. That's true. They're just they're just hanging out. Okay, here we go. Does it end? One, two, or three? Oh no. That is that is that is not what the Imperial Guard were, were looking for. That is not what they're looking for. We'll see you at the uh, top of seven. All right, we are at the uh, top of seven, and we already know that it is uh, it is over. And uh, we'll, we'll walk you through what happened here. The, um, uh, the vendetta, which ended up over here, we poured everything into it, couldn't scratch it, so it is there on that objective. This objective is now contested. We have two units over here that are scoring, and it's here that's scoring. It is the only thing left in the Imperial Guard army. Over here, however, uh, however, the crew finally arrived after every, that objective is completely and utterly uh, uh, now with the scoring unit there. So that is one to zero, and there's uh, there's not anything that that vendetta is going to be able to do about it uh, being uh, that it's uh, uh, shaken.
So uh, there it is, no shooting for it. You can only be at one place. And that is a long, long, difficult game, but the Leaf Blower has been defeated. So, Crush Joe, what are, your, what are your thoughts on the Leaf Blower? Well, let's see. First off, it's obvious. Obvious the Dark One doesn't know how to build an army because this army is, <laughs> is terrible in every aspect. Uh, the generalship has absolutely nothing to do with it. Of course, uh, lucky good rolls from the Tau player uh, have absolutely nothing to do with it. I'm sure that Seized has nothing to do that with, with nothing it. To nothing to do with it whatsoever. Nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. And, and all I can say is Leap Lore went from blow to suck. <laughs> and that's that. We'll catch you guys later. Dark Wind sucks. <laughs> <laughs>